hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create a website design for motorbike in the right side you can see i have added an image and in the left side you can see the information about that bike and at the end you can see three color option if i click on any color it will display the particular color bike if i click on the red one it will display the red color bike if i click on the blue one it will display the blue bike and if i click on the black one it will display the black bike so we will design this website using html and css and we will also add a very simple javascript to add this color switch option so let's start this video here in this folder i have added one index.html file and one style.css file and i have another folder called images and in this one i have some images and one logo you can find all these images download link in the video description let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code you can use any code editor so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file where i have added margin padding font family and box sizing these css properties will be applicable for all the html elements in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect the html and css file next we will add the code in the body tag so here we will add one div with the class name container next we have to add the css for this container so just add this class name in this css file and for this we will add width and height after that we have to add background image so here we will add background image url and in this url we have to add the file path of the image so it is in the images folder then file name so this is the complete file path of the background image then we will add background size and background position after that we will add some padding so there will be some space 20 pixel from top and bottom and 10% from left and right side. After adding this, let me come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this image on the web page. Let me close this browser and I will open the browser with Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code and we will save the code file. So you can see the same web page. Let me close this one and come back to the HTML file. Within this container, we have to create the navigation bar. So we will add nav tag and in this nav, we will add image, write the file path images slash logo. So this is the logo and here let's add a class name, which is logo. After this logo, we have to add a link on the right side. So we will add a tag and in this one, we will add a class name called btn and text will be test drive after adding this let me come back to the web page again and you can see this logo and this link test drive we have to change the size of this logo and we will design this link so it will look like a button let me come back and here you can see we have the class name logo and here we have the class name btn so let me come back to the CSS file and here first we will add the CSS for the nav tag width will be 100% display will be flex so content will be side by side align items center and justify content space between now you can see logo in the left side and this link in the right side let's come back and again we will add nav and in this nav we have the class name logo so for this logo we will add the width width will be 160 pixel and then cursor will be pointer in this nav we have added one link also and there is a class name called btn for the link so for this btn we will add text decoration none then the color will be white so that is the button text color and background background will be triple three after that some space inside the button so here we will add 15 pixel and 50 pixel then we will add border radius border radius will be 30 pixel now you can see perfect size for this logo and 
this button is also looking good next we have to add some content in the left side so let's come back and after closing off this snap tag here we will add a div with the class name content now in this content we have to add one text in h2 the bmw after that we will add another text in h1 then we will add some description in p tag so here is the description after this description we will add another text in h3 after adding all these content let's refresh the website and here you can see this text this description so we have to change its position and we will change the font and uh, spacing also so let's come back and first we will copy this class name content write it here in this css file for this one we need some space from the top so we will add margin top 10 percent now within this content we have added some text in h2 for this one we will add the color color will be red then we will add the font size it will be 34 pixel again we have another text in h1 tag so here we will add dot content and h1 again we will add the font size it will be very large 100 pixel then we will change the color after that we will add margin from the top it is minus 25 pixel you can see different font size for this text and this text next we will add the css for this description let's come back and here you can see we have added description in p tag and after that we have another text in s3 so again we will add dot content and p so for this p let's add the maximum width maximum width will be 380 pixel then font weight it will be 500 and font size font size will be 14 pixel then let me change the color after that this text looks good next we will add the css for this text let's come back and here again we will add dot content and then h3 there will be some space from the top so margin top 30 pixel and font weight will be 600 and font size so this text is also looking good next we will add three different circle with different color where we will click and change the background image of the bike so let's come back and uh, after this title let me add a div with the class name color select within this div we will create three other div with different id so let me add first div with the id red let me duplicate it and here we will change the id blue and in the third one id is black let's copy this class name color select write it here here we will add one div so for this div we will add background so the background will be triple three then width and height will be same then border radius will be 50 percent so that it will be a circle and margin from the right side 10 pixel and cursor pointer now you can see three circles but right now it is vertically aligned so we have to align it horizontally let's come back and again write this color select and for this one we will add display flex and let me add some space from the top 30 pixel 
now you can see these circles in horizontal line next we have to add different color in each circle so let me come back and you can see we have added different id for each one the first one is red then blue and then black so here we will add dot color select has red so it is for the first circle here we will add the background red let me duplicate it and change the id blue and the background is blue then we will change the id black and color will be black which is triple zero after adding this you can see different color in this circle the first one is red then blue and then black so we have added all the contents but right now if i click here nothing is happening so we have to add the click functionality here if we will click on the other color it will display the other image so let me come back and here in this html file just above this closing body tag we will add a script tag a script open and closing tag in this script we will add let red btn equal to document dot get element by id and here we will add the id that is red let's duplicate it and here we will change blue btn then we will add black btn this will be blue and this id will be black now we have to add the click functionality on the first one so let me write this red btn dot on click equal to function so this function will be executed whenever we will click on the red color circle so so what will happen here whenever we will click on the any circle it should change the image of the background so you can see we have added background in this div with the class name container so in this one let me add one id and the id i am adding bike like this and here we will add another variable called let bike equal to document dot get element by id bike that's it so here we have to add the bike dot style dot background image equal to and here we have to add the file path of the image so we will add url in this url images slash the file name this is the first image let me duplicate it and here we will change the variable name this is the blue btn and this one is the black btn whenever we will click on the blue button it should add the second image and whenever we will click on the last button it should display the third image so we are adding image 1 2 3 that's it after adding this again come to the website and if i click here you can see it is displaying the other image if i click on the black it is displaying the black image if i click on the blue it is displaying the blue bike and if i click on the red one it should display the red bike but right now this bike image is changing very quickly so we have to add some transition so let's come back and here in this css file come to the container and here we will add transition background image and here we will add 0.3 second like this and again come back to the web page and if i click here you can see the image is changing smoothly so finally we have created this beautiful website design using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video